This is the uh, deep sideline throw to Devin DuVernay. Uh, I'm sure it's getting a lot of attention. It's a great throw. But I want to watch his eyes here. He's got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He's got a middle-of-the-field safety. Uh, under center. Play action. Watch his eyes as, as he comes up with the football. He's checking the release of the receiver. Little jab step inside. Uh, the corner is kind of flat-footed here. Right there. And I think the quarterback sees that. And I think as he turns to look away, he's thinking DuVernay the whole time. Uh, really good timing. Steps into this throw. He's got pressure in his face. You see Wolf getting a good pu push in the pocket. Beautifully thrown to the sideline. Great job getting his feet down. Uh, great little push off. Subtle push off at the end there. Watch it again. So if you want to know how the passing game in terms of concepts might look different, this gives you a little peek. Um, empty set. They're going to run this tunnel screen into the boundary. Uh, really nicely set up. But if you look opposite, um, they're running a tunnel to this side too, with the outside receiver being the uh, uh, tunnel receiver, DuVernay. You see the center release and come to the field here. So they're running three defenders off by running this play. They're not thinking about hitting this tunnel. It's really about Watkins. He's good at this. Uh, it's interesting that the personnel, they've got uh, the back. I'm not sure if they motioned him there or not. Don't really have numbers until you have numbers when these two get out. Uh, and what's interesting, too, is you know, you get six coming, so they catch that. You get the sense that the offense, these new uh, uh, pass game coordinators, receivers coach, have been studying the defense, and they're taking it to them here. Um, they're waiting on this pass rush. Perhaps this is a third down call. Not sure. But the, the concept's really, really cool, this, this being run to this side, even with the center releasing, simply to really to get the center out of the middle of the field, but to pull these defenders to that side. There's a lot to see on this play as well. You see our, our man, our Darius, again, locked up, this time on Tylen Wallace. Uh, they're going to get him on an RPO slant here you see the linebacker come down and bite uh interesting both the tackle and the guard are uncovered powers is going to pull um crochet is in motion to that side so you get a lot a lot of uh, action um with that pull uh, he does a good job sealing chris smith here or protecting the edge he reads that linebacker coming down keeps it fires a slant to wallace you see the head fake there Real exaggerated. Uh, and um, he's blanketed, but he does a good job kind of boxing our dairies out here. And they pick up a few yards. Powers, I'm not sure why he's oversetting inside here. You see that? Um, he, tend to, he tended to do this all afternoon or all evening. I'm impressed with both rookie quarter, or excuse me, both young quarterbacks, um, pocket presence on this afternoon, this evening. Um, left tackle gets beaten badly here. I'm not sure who this is, but all kind of trouble with his feet. And Aaron Adoye takes it to him. Uh, good job stepping up. The thing I'll point out about the opposite side is Ricard. The, the biggest area of concern with me about Pat has been Pat's blocking in space and he looks great here taking on Chris Smith. I thought Chris Smith looked good too. I think he could be something in terms of a rotational uh, pass rush, rush guy. Chris Smith could. Nice job moving his feet. Good job stepping up. Uh, Queen has the back here. 18. You see him take kind of a bad angle and get juked here. McSorley finds him. If you watch Cleveland, they get that initial contact, 
and then his feet kind of stop. And, and this and, uh, Washington's not the most fleet of foot, but he kind of beats him off the edge here and turns the corner. And so this, this does not, this looks like he's going to struggle to start uh, right away, I would say. That is uh, Cleveland. And I wonder why Powers, at least on this evening, is not getting snaps at right guard, left guard that I'm seeing. Good pressure off the edge here. You get Chauncey Rivers, the weak rush. And um, off the strong side, you get uh, rookie on rookie here. And he tears uh, Ben Mason up. That's, that's uh, Dalen Hayes again. Out in space, the fullback out in space on him. Nothing to it. Just goes, dips the shoulder right by him. Really impressed by Dalen Hayes. Um, and Rivers wins. Kind of a nice rip there. 76, not sure who that is. Nice dip and rip. Yep. You might have seen that arm kind of come around and club this football free, too. That could have been a big play. So good pressure off the edge. This is a throw made with great confidence and authority. Uh, great grab by Prochet. He wins in slide. They hit him. Uh... If he's not tackled upon the reception, he might take this home. Um, they've got to be impressed with Prochet. Interesting that he doesn't opt for this off-coverage slant that they run with um, Duvernay. Uh, but I, I think it's intentional, the idea of Queen running all the way to the opposite side of the field, clearing the middle of the field, and um, Dobbin, uh, in, in, in uh, pursuit of Dobbins. So the eyes are part of that. I think, but I think all the while he wants to hit Prochet here. Boy, he must have great confidence in his arm, but also Prochet. I'm not sure what Mark's doing, what, what's going on with this route. I got the impression a lot last year that they just said, Mark, beat, beat the guy. Beat the guy you're in front of. I don't know why he doesn't just sit this here. Um, so this throw is really cloudy almost because of Mark running there. And I'm not sure... You know, this isn't some sort of option off the line where he said they just want him to beat Chuck Clark, but it, it almost runs right into the throw or runs the defender right into that throw.